It's nothing. All this pleasure, all these riches and everything are nothing. The Bible says in Psalm 37, a little that a righteous man hath is better than the riches of many wicked. I'd rather be as poor as Job's turkey and know Christ than to be the richest man in the whole world without Christ. In Proverbs 23, he wrote, Wilt thou set thine eyes upon that which is not? For riches certainly make themselves wings, and they fly away like an eagle. Jesus said, Beware of covetousness, for a man's life consisteth not in the abundance of the things which he possesseth. And we look on Wall Street. Sometimes they show those pictures of those men going crazy. Just, I don't know how they keep up with it all. But people go crazy over money. And even poor people long for money. They say, if only I had a few thousand dollars, I'd be happy. No, you wouldn't, because you want a few thousand more. And then Solomon had great power. Men like power and prestige. And no nation of the world of that day dared defy Solomon. He had more power than any man of his generation. He had the greatest army, he had the greatest navy in the world of that day. And he looked upon his mighty military power and he said, it's all a bubble that burst. What shall it profit a man, Jesus said, if he gains the whole world and loses his soul? Suppose he had all the knowledge and all the wealth and all the power in the whole world today and lost your soul. And many of you are doing just that. You've gained in your circle of world. You've gained all that you can gain, but your soul you're not sure about. You go to church. You have a name on a church roll. You've been baptized and all of that. But deep in your heart, something is missing. You don't know what it is. The thing that's missing is that personal relationship with Christ. But Paul talked about another power that comes. For God had not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and a sound mind. And then so Solomon turned to the aesthetic like He said, well, maybe I can do some other things that'll bring happiness and peace and joy to my life. He said, I made pools of water. I got me men singers and women singers and the delights of the sons of men as musical instruments. He got orchestras and he got ballet. He got everything. And whatsoever my eyes desired, he said, I kept not from them. I had everything I could ever think about or desire but he said it was all vanity. He developed a love for art and music and culture. He built beautiful gardens, had musical recitals. Then he said, I looked upon all the works that my hands had wrought and on the labor that I had labored to do, and behold, it was all vanity and vexation of spirit, and there's no spirit under the sun, no prophet under the sun. You see, if you had it all that you're striving after, it wouldn't bring the peace and the happiness you're looking for. Why? Because it's found in Christ. The Scripture says, Behold, are greater than Solomon's here. Now, Solomon also tried religion. He vowed to build the greatest temple that the world had ever seen. Solomon's temple took seven years to build, and it was called one of the seven wonders of the world. His temple was an architectural wonder. It was made ready at a quarry so that when it was built, they didn't use any hammers or axes or any tools of iron was heard while it was being put together. 